Hi, today in this video, we will learn how to use progress indicator in Jetpack Compose. So let's get started. First, we create our project. Here, I'm selecting empty activity. Click on next. Name of your project and click on finish. So here, progress indicator is used to indicate the progress of any process in use to showing any downloading processor. So let's understand how to use progress indicator. So first we create a composable method and name it progress indicator example. So we have two types of progress indicator. One is linear progress indicator which is used to display the progress in a linear line. And second is circular progress indicator which is used to display the progress in circular shape. So I will explain both one by one. So first I am going to explain linear progress indicator. So first here we use column composable which is used to display the elements in vertical order. Now we use linear progress indicator and this indicator is used to display the progress in a linear line. Now here we call our function. Now run the project. So here you can see the output. This is linear progress indicator which display the progress in a linear line. And this is you can say indeterminate progress indicator. When you don't know how long the act your action will take, then we use indeterminate mode. Now, if you want to show some specific quantity of the progress has occurred, then you have to pass a parameter here that display the progress. So here we pass progress parameter. So here we pass float value between 0 0.0 to 0 1.0 and it display how much you complete the progress. So here I'm passing. 0.8 now run the project so here you can see this is our determinant linear progress indicator so here you can customize so here i am using modifiers which is we use to set the height now set the color now run the project. So here you can see determinant custom indicator. Now if you remove progress parameter from here. So this is our indeterminate custom progress indicator. Now we will work on circular progress indicator. So here we will use circular progress indicator and we use modifier. Now we define the color. Now set the stroke width. Now run the project. So here you can see the circular progress indicator. This is our indeterminant circular progress indicator. Now for determinant, here we provide the progress. So here you can see this is our determinant circular progress indicator. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.